All right, everyone, welcome back. So this is just a short little video because we've been getting a lot of questions about tarp suspensions. Um, so we're just gonna talk about the two different tarp suspensions that we have in our inventory and the positives and negatives to each one and, and basically what we prefer. We've been getting a lot of questions about it. Um, so let's get into it. We'll show you the two different suspensions that we have and, and what we prefer. I have a Dutchware Xenon hex tarp right here. This is a 12 foot hex tarp and some uh, mesh snake skins. This has a probably the most popular suspension style on it. It's called a continuous ridge line. This is what um, I originally was using, the, this continuous ridge line setup. And basically, um, you can get it all from Dutchware, but it's just uh, zing it with a Dutch hook. And it's got prussics on here, and it's also got tarp flies. And then we've also got our current setup, which is um, hammock gear, 12 foot hex tarps, Dyneema hex tarps. And these are with Dutchware stingers. Um, this is our preferred method right now, the Dutchware stingers on Zingit. So let me show you uh, the two different styles and then uh, go through the, the pros and cons. All right, so let's set up the continuous ridge line first. Again, this is just on a Dutchware um, tarp, hex tarp. So I've got the Dutch hook and goes around the tree and then clips in place, kind of makes like a hitch. And then I start unfurling the tarp, tarp. So right away I can see with the continuous ridge line this setup right now. Now since this on a previous trip I had a much wider tree so I can already see that there's going to be a bunch of slack right here where I know I'm going to have to adjust the tarp. All right so I've made it to the other tree that I'm going to uh, hang my tarp up on and I can already see that my tarp fly right here um, is too close to the tree. And this is because the last uh, setup I did with this tarp, the trees were obviously different widths and different lengths apart. So now I gotta start adjusting this. This always takes so long, these things are so tiny. You'd be up and going right now with the stingers. We'll get there. All right, so I adjusted the, um, the tarp, got it hung up, and now I can see too, if I would have a hammock under here, I've got most of the tarp here, and I've got a bunch of open area down there, so let's just pretend that if I needed to center the tarp, um, then I need to loosen up the prussics. All right, so if you don't know what a prussic is, just go ahead and Google it. Um, I made my own prussics out of Zingit, but obviously you can buy the whole kit, um, the continuous ridgeline kit from Dutchware. It includes some really nice prussics. But um, I can loosen up the prussics now to slide the tarp on the ridgeline, and then when I add tension to the prussic, it'll lock in place. And this is where uh, the continuous ridgeline really shines, is being able to slide the tarp on the ridgeline very easily to center this over your hammock. All right, our next setup that Kevin and I currently use and prefer is the Dutchware Stingers. And uh, these we bought, you know, obviously from Dutchware and they come with 12 feet of Zingit. And uh, it's our preferred method because it's quick to set up, which is so, uh, we found very important. Um, so let me just show you how quick this thing is to set up. Now. Look All done. How, look how quick that was. So it's a lot more user friendly, as I, as we'll call it. Um, it's super quick to set up and the, um, the stingers do a really good job of locking the zingit in place. 
Now, obviously the big disadvantage here is that you'll have to manually uh, center this under your tarp, but that's not too bad to do. So big advantage to the continuous ridge line, you can slide the tarp on the ridge line to center it, um, but it takes a long time to set up and it's not very user friendly. Huge advantage with the stingers is super quick to set up, but you might have to tweak it a little bit to set it up, uh, to center it over your hammock. So I know we got a lot of questions about that and why we prefer uh, the stingers over the continuous ridge line. So hopefully this helps. You do you, whatever works for you is, is what you should do. We like this the best. So anyways, thanks for uh, watching just this quick video. We shot it because we just got a lot of questions, but you know, if you have any further questions or comments, leave them below, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one.